Chapter 81 Attack begins you are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 81 Attack begins translator Atlas Studios editor Atlas Studios undead appeared from the ground one after another. Coupled with the skeleton elite army Lu Yan had used, the entire surroundings seemed to have fallen into an undead sea. Li Feng Yan looked at the undead in front of him and his throat moved, his expression shocked. So many undead. This Lu Yan was much more abnormal than he imagined. He even said that he was a new student. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. Li Feng Yan confirmed his thoughts again. This Lu Yan was definitely a big shot. He was pretending to be weak. Yang Murong was also very shocked. There were so many undead. It seemed that the other party was not arrogant when he said that he could quickly destroy two dot thirds of the undead knights. He really had the ability. At this moment, Yang Murong was glad that he did not get into any conflict with the guy in front of him. Otherwise, with so many undead, they would probably be directly drowned. Little brother Lu Yen, right. Ha ha ha, I've long noticed that you're extraordinary. It's indeed as I expected. I definitely agree with besieging these undead knights. Don't worry, we can definitely help you resist a third of the undead knights for half an hour. Yang Murong's attitude changed again. This was no longer a genius who had yet to grow up. Instead, it was a powerful professional. He needed to correct his attitude. Pfft. A bootlicker who changes his attitude. Li Feng Yan looked at Yang Murong and spat lightly. Then, he quickly looked at Lu Yan and flattered, Boss Lu Yan, don't worry. We'll also help you block a third of the undead knights. We promise to complete the mission. Lu Yan nodded. Although he had more undead, he could not deal with too many at once if he wanted to quickly destroy the undead knights. Moreover, Lu Yen guessed that after the battle here, a large number of undead knights would probably rush over. Therefore, he had to destroy these undead knights quickly. Two dot thirds of the undead knights could be quickly destroyed by the current Lu Yen. Since everyone has agreed, prepare to take action. Don't worry, I'll leave behind 300 undead for you to help you. If anything happens to me or if the speed at which we destroy the undead knights is too slow, we can choose to abort and continue breaking through. Lu Yen knew very well that although the two teams beside him were helping, their main goal was still to break out of the encirclement and protect their lives. Therefore, he gave them reassurance. If it was impossible, he would directly break out. Hearing Lu Yen leave 300 undead to help them, Li Fengyan's last worry was eliminated, and the smile on his face became richer. Boss Lu Yen, don't worry and destroy the undead knights. We'll definitely help you block the remaining undead knights. Lu Yen nodded and then his gaze landed on Yang Murong. Yang Murong smiled and said, it's naturally best if little brother Lu Yen can leave 300 undead to help us. This way, we won't have anything to worry about. We'll definitely be able to help you block a third of the undead knights. Alright, let's discuss the specific combat strategy. Lu Yen looked at Yang Murong and Li Feng Yen. The three of them quickly discussed what to do later and which direction Lu Yen would take. As for the remaining undead knights, they would be blocked by Yang Murong and Li Feng Yen. At the side, Bai Miao looked at this scene with a slightly stunned expression. Xi and Lu Yen were both new students of the Golden Corner Academy. She was ranked first, but in the face of such a situation, her performance was completely inferior to Lu Yen. Everyone around was listening to Lu Yan's arrangements, making him look like a superior. Zhao Yuheng's gaze also landed on Lu Yen, her gaze slightly dazzling. This was the first time Zhao Yuheng had seen such an outstanding new student. Back then, she was also known as the number one new student, right? However, in front of this junior Lu Yan, Zhao Yuheng felt completely suppressed by the other party. Moreover, this suppression did not make her feel uncomfortable or unconvinced. This was because this was an absolute suppression. This junior Lu Yan was really too abnormal. 
Soon, the specific plan was decided. The surrounding people had also almost recovered. Lu Yen rode an undead silver moon wolf and held the black bone scythe. His gaze landed on the undead knights in front of him, and his eyes revealed excitement. Move out. With that said, Lu Yen was the first to rush out with the surrounding undead and headed towards the surrounding undead knights in front of him. Lu Yen was heading to the right and was the first to attract the attention of all the undead knights. Then, Yang Murong and the others came out to help Lu Yen block a third of the undead knights. Lu Yan's 300 undead would also follow Yang Murong and the others. However, Lu Yan's allocation was also very subtle. Most of the undead were close to Bai Miao and Zhao Yuheng and there were fewer undead on Li Fengyan's side. Yang Murong and the others had the least undead. As soon as he rushed out, the undead knights in front noticed Lu Yan and the others and directly roared. A large number of undead knights rushed towards Lu Yan. Yang Murong and the others also rushed out and helped Lu Yan block a third of the undead knights. Lu Yan led the undead army and directly came into contact with the undead knights in front. In an instant, the undead knights directly broke through the bodies of the undead at the front. However, a large number of undead then enveloped these undead knights, preventing them from using the advantage of the night charge. Then, the undead knights that had transformed into Lu Yan's servants began to attack the undead knights in front of him. Lu Yan also kept charging and waving the black bone scythe in his hand. Compared to the undead, Lu Yan's current combat strength was still the highest. Basically, with every attack, he could injure the undead knights. Roars sounded from the surrounded undead knights. They attacked with all their might, wanting to escape from the surrounding undead. However, how could Lu Yan let them succeed? The close dot range attacks of these undead knights only affected the skeleton elites summoned by Lu Yan's skeleton elite army. Therefore, Lu Yan did not feel any heartache and directly got them to stall the undead knights even if they died. Yang Murong and the others also came into contact with the undead knights and began to help Lu Yan block the surrounding undead knights to buy Lu Yan time. Yang Murong discovered that the undead Lu Yan had left for them were very powerful. A few of them could even stall an undead knight. Unfortunately, there were fewer undead on their side. Otherwise, they could easily stop these undead knights. However, it was not bad now. Yang Murong and the others exerted their strength and cooperated with the surrounding undead to stop the remaining undead knights. Now, they only needed to wait for Lu Yan to destroy the two dot thirds of the undead knights and then come to support them. On Lu Yan's side, Lu Yan frowned as he looked at the stubborn undead knights in front of him. He could not delay any longer. Otherwise, more undead knights would be attracted. Undead Rage Chapter 82 Strange Blood Water You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 82 Strange Blood Water Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios Lu Yan's Undead Rage was already at level 5. It instantly doubled the attributes of all undead creatures he controlled for 75 seconds and increased the movement speed of undead creatures by 50%. Although it only lasted for 75 seconds, it was already enough. The surrounding undead were instantly covered in a layer of scarlet. The attributes of all the undead doubled and instantly went berserk, severely injuring the undead knights that were already being surrounded and suppressed. One undead knight after another was killed before standing up again and becoming undead knights controlled by Lu Yan. Lu Yan's body also constantly appeared in the surroundings to help the undead quickly kill these undead knights. About 80 undead knights quickly disappeared as they were drowned by Lu Yan and the undead beside him. Then, they stood up again and became members of Lu Yan's undead. Although he still lost some undead, it was completely worth it for Lu Yan. When others hunted demon beasts, their combat strength would continue to decrease. After all, it consumed their physical strength and mental strength. However, Lu Yan's combat strength had increased a lot compared to before because the number of undead knights had increased a lot. 
Lu Yan's gaze landed on the last three undead knights. They were all level 30 and had very powerful combat strength. Even after going berserk, the undead close to them were still quickly killed and could only be surrounded. If one looked carefully, they could see a faint red light covering the three undead knights' bodies, just like the red light that would appear after Lu Yan had used undead rage. Lu Yan raised his eyebrows. It seemed that these three undead knights also had skills that increased their strength. No wonder they could last for so long. Lu Yan instructed the surrounding undead knights to charge and directly push the three undead knights further away from each other, preventing them from fighting together. Then, Lu Yan held the black bone scythe and directly rushed towards a level 30 undead knight at the front. This undead knight was resisting the attacks of the surrounding undead. Lu Yan arrived and directly slashed the black bone scythe in his hand down at the undead knight. The undead knight was suddenly shocked and wanted to retreat to defend, but it was already too late. Bang! With a muffled sound, the black bone scythe in Lu Yan's hand landed on the undead knight's shoulder blade, directly breaking the other party's armor and slashing into the other party's body. Raising his eyebrows, Lu Yan discovered that this attack only made a small cut and was unable to go deep. This undead knight's defense was quite powerful. The undead knight roared and waved the long sword in its hand at Lu Yan. Lu Yan retracted the black bone scythe to block and then slashed horizontally at the undead knight, directly slashing at the other party's waist. This attack almost slashed open the waist of the undead knight in front of him. The undead knight still wanted to counterattack, but it was quickly killed by Lu Yan and the surrounding undead. Although level 30 undead knights were difficult to deal with, Lu Yan could still kill them with the help of the surrounding undead. Moreover, he did not even need to use the undead netherworld armor and the netherworld soul scythe. Lu Yan rushed towards the other two undead knights and cooperated with the undead to kill the two of them. However, after the last undead knight was killed, it did not stand up again to become a member of Lu Yan's undead army. After this undead knight died, the flesh and blood on its entire body directly melted, and even the mount under it turned into a pool of blood. Then, the pool of blood wriggled and slowly outlined the appearance of an array formation. Lu Yan frowned slightly and got the two undead beside him to destroy the pool of blood. However, as soon as the two undead arrived beside the blood water, they seemed to be pulled by a powerful suction and directly entered the pool of blood. The blood water was like a bottomless pit. After the two undead entered, they instantly disappeared. Dot then, the pool of blood expanded a little, as if it had been replenished. Seeing this, Lu Yan directly got the undead beside him to stay away from the pool of blood. Something was wrong with this pool of blood. He would eliminate the surrounding undead knights first. Lu Yan left with the surrounding undead and headed towards by Miao and the others. Seeing Lu Yan bring the undead army over to support, Bai Miao and the others, who were blocking the undead knights, revealed happy expressions. Yang Murong was shocked. How long has it been? It's at most four minutes, right? This guy already destroyed two dot thirds of the undead knights. It seemed that this guy's combat strength was even more exaggerated than he had imagined. Lu Yan charged over with the huge undead army and directly surrounded the remaining one dot third of the undead knights before quickly killing them. Lu Yan did not even have to do it himself. The surrounding undead directly destroyed the remaining undead knights. Awesome, boss Lu Yan is really too powerful. He killed those undead knights in four minutes. Li Feng Yan was shocked. What level do you think boss Lu Yan's undead are? He actually only needs a few undead to suppress these undead knights. I think boss Lu Yan is at least level 25 or 26. His undead should also be at this level. Otherwise, it's impossible for him to suppress these undead knights. He's really too powerful. If I had the help of so many powerful undead, I could have swept through the black fog forest outside. Li Feng Yan and the team members beside him looked at Lu Yan in shock and admiration. At this moment, Yang Murong was also extremely shocked. 
Although he was shocked to see so many undead just now, numbers did not mean combat strength. However, after seeing the battle scene of these undead, Yang Murong believed his guess even more. This should be a guy who pretended to be weak and deliberately hid his strength. Level 15 Who was he kidding? In other words, this guy was definitely a big shot. Thinking of this, Yang Murong could not help but break out in cold sweat. Fortunately, he had stopped the team members back then. Otherwise, he would already be dead and grass might have even grown out of his grave. The surrounding undead knights have already been cleared. We should leave this place first. Li Feng Yan looked at the surrounding undead knights and said excitedly. Yang Murong looked at Lu Yan. Little. Uh, student Lu Yan, let's go back together to avoid encountering undead knights on the way. Yang Murong already had a deep understanding of Lu Yan's strength and naturally hoped to leave with him. This way, even if he encountered danger, he could still rely on the other party's powerful combat strength. Lu Yan nodded. Let's retreat first. It's not good to stay here for long. The pool of blood just now made Lu Yan somewhat uneasy. At this moment, the expanding blood at the previous spot seemed to have reached its limit and stabilized. The blood outlined and formed a simple array formation on the ground. Then, a faint black light directly soared into the sky from the pool of blood. Chapter 83 Yang Murong leaves with his team, 1, you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 83 Yang Murong leaves with his team, 1, Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios a faint black light rose into the sky. After reaching a peak, it quickly spread in all directions, forming a huge faint black barrier that enveloped a thousand meters below. Lu Yan and the others instantly sensed that something was wrong. Looking at the light shield emitting a faint black light not far ahead, everyone was stunned. What's going on? What's this? No, it seems that a light rose from behind just now. Then, such a light shield suddenly appeared in front of me. The surroundings seem to have been enveloped by this light shield. Could there have been a strange phenomenon? Looking at the light shield that enveloped the surroundings, everyone's expressions became nervous. He had just eliminated the threat of the surrounding undead knights. Could it be that a new danger had appeared? Lu Yen turned around and looked at the spot where the blood was previously. He frowned. The faint black barrier that appeared should be related to the pool of blood. Could it be that the mastermind behind the command of the undead knights had discovered the decrease in the number of undead knights here and had reacted? This should be an isolation barrier that can isolate the aura inside the barrier from the outside world. Yang Murong was knowledgeable and recognized this faint black barrier. Isolation barrier. Then aren't we isolated from the outside world now? It doesn't matter if it's isolated or not. The key is, why did this light shield suddenly appear? Who created it? These are not important, okay. The most important thing now is to quickly leave this place. Who cares if it's a barrier or not? Just break through and rush out. The surrounding people discussed animatedly, feeling extremely uneasy because of the sudden appearance of the isolation barrier. Lu Yen looked at the isolation barrier in front of him and directly said, let's see if we can rush out first. The current situation was indeed somewhat strange. It was better to leave this place first. Everyone quickly headed forward, wanting to leave this place first. At this moment, the surrounding ground began to tremble. Everyone's expressions changed. Then, they saw a large number of undead knights rush out from the surroundings and quickly rush towards them. It's over, it's over. We still ended up attracting the attention of the other undead knights. They're surrounding us. I long said that we should have left quickly and insisted on destroying the surrounding undead knights. Now, we've attracted more undead knights. The surrounding undead knights should have been destroyed just now. How could there be more undead knights chasing after us? Looking at the surrounding undead knights surrounding them, 
the expressions of Jan Murom and the others suddenly changed. There were more than 200 new undead knights around, double the number from before. Facing so many undead knights, everyone felt a sense of danger. Lu Yen frowned and looked at the spot where the blood was previously. Could it be because of the change just now? However, now was not the time to think about this. It's still the same as before. I'll help you eliminate two dot thirds of the undead knights. As for the rest of the undead knights, try your best to resist their attacks. Lu Yen looked at the surrounding undead knights and said without hesitation. The enemy had already appeared. It was useless to shout here. It was better to deal with the other party directly. Hearing Lu Yan's words, the surrounding people also nodded. That was the only way for now. Fortunately, Lu Yan was around. Otherwise, they would have been completely helpless against so many undead knights. Lu Yan rode an undead silver moon wolf and directly rushed out with the surrounding undead. With so many undead knights, it was also a pressure on Lu Yan. However, the problem was not too big. Among Lu Yan's current undead army, there were already more than a hundred undead knights, forming an undead knight regiment. Although their individual combat strength was not as powerful as the surrounding undead knights, they were still not to be underestimated. They could completely take charge. Dovico the undead knights in front rushed over. Their target seemed to be aimed at Lu Yan as they all rushed towards him. Seeing this, Zhao Yuheng hurriedly said, let's quickly help Lu Yan share the pressure. Otherwise, Lu Yan will be finished. We'll all be finished. Hearing Zhao Yuheng's words, the surrounding people did not hesitate and directly welcomed the undead knights in front. Even Yang Murong brought his teammates and rushed over to help Lu Yan resist some undead knights. Just as Zhao Yuheng had said, if Lu Yan died, it was definitely impossible for them to escape the pursuit of these undead knights. The two sides instantly came into contact. A large portion of Lu Yan's skeleton elites were instantly shattered by the impact of the undead knights. Lu Yan did not feel any heartache. These were all summoned by his skill. After dying, he could still use the undead power to summon them again. The undead behind were already familiar with the way to fight these undead knights. They directly surrounded the undead knights in front. Most of the undead knights in front of Lu Yan were trapped in a battle with Lu Yan's undead and could not unleash their advantage. However, Lu Yan quickly discovered the difference in the undead knights in front of him. These undead knights were all level 30. They all had combat skills and were all different. Some would have that red light appear on their bodies and envelop them. Moreover, their combat strength would increase explosively, like an undead going berserk. Chapter 84 Yang Murong leaves with his team, too, you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 84 Yang Murong leaves with his team, too, translator. Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios some of them could even release black flames from the long sword in their hand, and the damage they dealt to the undead was actually increased. These undead knights were all very difficult to deal with. Seeing this, Lu Yan did not hesitate to let the surrounding undead surround these undead knights and then let the undead knights that had recently joined his undead army attack them. Lu Yan also raised the black bone scythe in his hand and rushed into the undead knights in front of him constantly slashing. Including all the undead, Lu Yan had the highest combat strength present. Therefore, he could only rely on himself to kill these undead knights one by one. However, the surrounding undead knights were all around level 30 and their combat strength was much stronger than before. It was still very difficult for Lu Yan to kill them. After spending a minute, Lu Yan finally killed an undead knight and quickly rushed into the encirclement of the next undead knight. Lu Yan's situation was still alright. Although it had been a long time, he was still able to suppress these undead knights and kill them. However, it was a little troublesome for Zhao Yuheng. Previously, the undead knights they dealt with were somewhat difficult. Now that they were all level 30 undead knights, it was even more difficult for them to deal with them. 
If not for Lu Yen leaving a portion of the undead for them, they would probably have long been killed by these undead knights. However, even so, they could only barely stop the surrounding undead knights and even had to constantly give in. Otherwise, they would be in danger of being killed. Boss, this won't do. These undead knights' levels are too high. We can't stop them. That's right. Why are there suddenly so many undead knights? I can't take it anymore. Why don't we escape? That Lu Yen seems to be able to last for a while. These undead knights would also rush towards him. We can still escape. Yang Murong's teammates shouted at Yang Murong as they tried their best to block the undead knights in front of them. On Li Fengyan's side, their performance was even worse when facing the undead knights in front. After all, their combat strength was completely inferior to Yang Murong's side. Yang Murong and the others were already having such a difficult time, let alone Li Fengyan and the others. Even though the number of undead Lu Yen left on their side was more than Yang Murong's side, Li Feng Yen and the others were still constantly retreating and were somewhat unable to stop the undead knights in front of them. Brother Yen, I can't take it anymore. These undead knights are too powerful. They're on a completely different level from the ones just now. Brother Yen, I'm about to die. Why don't we retreat too? Those guys are right. These undead knights seem to be targeting Lu Yen. They can help us by time. Damn. I was almost hit just now. Brother Yen, quickly make a decision. Li Feng Yen blocked an attack from the undead knight in front of him and quickly retreated, panting. The pressure brought by the undead knights in front was too powerful. It was more than a little stronger than the undead knights from before. Hearing the surrounding teammates, Li Feng Yen also hesitated. After all, in a life dot and dot death situation, it was better not to be so loyal. However, Li Feng Yen then gritted his teeth and said, No. We can't retreat. We can only believe in Boss Lu Yen now. The reason why we can continue to persevere now is completely because of the undead big Boss Lu Yen sent us. Without these undead, if these undead knights catch up, we probably won't be able to last more than half a minute. Although these undead knights are now targeting Boss Lu Yen, are you sure we won't encounter other undead knights when we leave? Since we've decided to cozy up to someone powerful, we have to cozy up to the end. We can't give up halfway. Li Feng Yen was very clear. Headed. They were only a few new students. Without Lu Yen, they were nothing. It made sense for Yang Murong and the others to leave. After all, the other party was a level 20 professional and their combat strength was not weak. After leaving, even if they encountered another undead knight, they might still have a way to escape. It was different for them. If they left Lu Yen and encountered another undead knight, they would die. Hearing Li Funyan's words, the surrounding teammates also bit their lips and agreed with Li Funyan's decision. Other than being the initiator of the team, there was also another reason why Li Feng Yen was able to become their captain. It was because he had always made the right choice and had yet to make a bad decision. On Yang Murong's side, as he listened to his teammates, Yang Murong pondered as he blocked the attacks of the surrounding undead knights. It was not impossible for him to directly retreat now. After all, these undead knights were rushing towards Lu Yen. If they retreated, these undead knights would probably directly head towards Lu Yan. Lu Yan's combat strength was also very powerful and could last for a while. The surrounding undead knights should have been attracted by the large number of undead knights Lu Yan had killed just now. Perhaps these were undead knights from other places. If they retreated, there was a high chance that they would not encounter any undead knights. Even if they encountered them, as long as there were not many of them, they could still escape. However, this would probably offend Lu Yen. No matter what, in the face of survival, the matter of offending someone or not was no longer important. Since the opportunity to escape had appeared, he had to seize it. Yang Murong pondered for a moment and directly said to his team members, retreat. Directly rush out of this isolation barrier and leave this place. 
Yang Murong directly retreated with his team and no longer resisted the surrounding undead knights. As one of Yang Murong's team members was leaving, he directly hid behind the undead and got the undead to block the spear for him before quickly leaving. Then, the mage summoned a 3.meter dot long and 2.meter dot tall lion from the spatial item that stored the goods. Come up quickly. This mage member directly called Yang Murong and the others up. Then, he urged the lion under him to quickly rush towards the isolation barrier in front of him. As they had guessed, the surrounding undead knights did not chase after them after they retreated. Instead, they turned around and rushed towards Lu Yen. Yang Murong and the others heaved a sigh of relief when they saw this, and smiles appeared on their faces. It seemed that he had made the right decision. Yang Murong's departure directly increased the pressure on Lu Yen. After all, Zhao Yuheng and the others were mainly relying on Yang Murong's team to resist. Seeing Yang Murong's team leave, Bai Miao cursed. Then, she directly used a secret technique again and went forward to stop two more undead knights. Using the Bai family's secret technique twice in a short period of time was harmful to Bai Miao's body, but now, she couldn't care less. She had to help Lu Yen relieve some pressure. Dot with the Bai family's secret technique, Bai Miao and the undead beside her cooperated to stop two more undead knights. This was already the limit of her strength. Seeing this, Zhao Yuhan did not hesitate and quickly condensed fire power on the staff in her hand. Boom! A phoenix formed entirely from flames condensed in the sky in front of the staff. Then, it quickly pounced towards the undead knights in front of her. The impact of the flaming phoenix made the five undead knights stop rushing towards Lu Yen. At the same time, a large number of flames dripped from the flame phoenix's body, forming a huge fire below, forcing the undead knights rushing towards Lu Yen to take a detour. Although she could not continue to stop more undead knights, she could at least make these undead knights waste some time. Just as Bai Miao and the others were trying their best to stop the undead knights, Yang Murong and the others had already arrived in front of the isolation barrier. Captain. Are we going to rush out directly? The mage looked at Yang Murong and asked. Yang Murong nodded and said, charge directly. The isolation barrier usually only isolates aura and doesn't stop objects from passing through. The mage team member did not hesitate and directly controlled the lion under him to rush towards the isolation barrier in front of him. Bang! A muffled sound sounded. The lion that quickly rushed out directly collided with the faint black barrier. It was as if it had collided with a wall and its body was instantly sent flying. Chapter 85 Undead Swordsman Appears 1. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 85 Undead Swordsman Appears 1. Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios Yang Murong and the others, who were riding the lion, instantly smashed onto the ground and rolled a few times before stabilizing their bodies. Looking at the faint black barrier in front of them, the few of them were stunned. Boss, didn't you say that this barrier can only block auras? A team member looked at Yang Murong and said anxiously. Yang Murong was also stunned. After all, the isolation barrier he saw in the past was not like this and could only isolate auras. Don't be anxious. Try attacking and see if you can open a hole to escape, Yang Murong said calmly. Even if an isolation barrier could isolate everyone, it shouldn't be too sturdy, right? The team did not hesitate when they heard this. All kinds of attacks instantly flew towards the isolation barrier in front of them. The attacks landed on the isolation barrier in front of him, emitting muffled sounds. However, the isolation barrier in front of him did not have any ripples. Yang Murong's heart sank. Then, he quickly went forward, raised the sledgehammer in his hand, and directly smashed it down on the isolation barrier in front of him. Boom! A muffled sound sounded. Yang Murong felt a huge backlash land on his body and was instantly sent flying. 
After landing on the ground, Yang Murong stood up and looked at the isolation barrier in front of him, his expression immediately becoming extremely ugly. Boss, what's going on? The team members rushed to Yang Murong's side and asked. Yang Murong's expression was ugly as he said, not only can this isolation barrier isolate Aura, but it also completely isolates the inside and outside. With our strength, we can't break through the isolation barrier in front of us. Ah! What should we do? Won't we be finished if we're isolated here? How did this strange thing appear? There's no warning at all. Damn it! Are we going to die here today? The surrounding team members were somewhat discouraged. They were isolated here and could not leave. If undead knights appeared in the surroundings, wouldn't they be in trouble? Yang Murong's eyes flickered before he said, We can only go back now. Go back. Boss, we secretly retreated. If we go back now, the surrounding team members looked at each other. They had just escaped heartlessly. If they returned now, let alone whether he would be embarrassed, would Lu Yen let the matter rest? Yang Murong said in a low voice, there's no choice. Now, we can only return and survive by following that Lu Yen. Even if we encounter other dangers, that Lu Yen can still resist it. Now that we can't get out, we can only regroup with him. Don't worry too much. That Lu Yen is a smart person. It was reasonable for us to retreat. Now that everyone is in danger, even if we want to settle the score, we'll do it after we get out. Hearing Yang Murong's words, the team members calmed down. Now, they probably could only return. Yang Murong quickly rushed back in Lu Yan's direction with his team members. Bang! Lu Yan raised the black bone scythe in his hand and directly stood on the undead knight in front of him, slashing open the armor on its body. Soon, this undead knight died under his black bone scythe. This was the eighth undead knight he had killed. The undead knights that were killed by Lu Yan quickly stood up again and joined Lu Yan's undead team to attack the other undead knights. With the addition of the undead knights, Lu Yan's situation improved a little. Because of the retreat of Yang Murong and the others, another twenty to thirty undead knights came, doubling the pressure on Lu Yan. Looking at the surrounding skeleton elites that were constantly consumed, Lu Yan frowned. Although the number of undead knights increased, the number of undead kept decreasing and was killed by these undead knights. The number of undead could not be too small. Otherwise, it would not be able to implicate these undead knights, allowing them to unleash even stronger attacks. Without any hesitation, Lu Yan directly used the undead twin. Undead were replicated one after another, filling the empty spots where the undead were killed. Lu Yan had priority in replicating skeleton elites and not undead knights. This was because although undead knights were stronger, they consumed more mental strength. It was better to replicate more skeleton elites to implicate these undead knights. Dot soon, a large number of skeleton elites appeared and directly stabilized the situation that had almost gone out of control because of Yang Murong and the others. Lu Yan even had the strength to send more undead to help by Miao and the others. However, Lu Yan could also sense that his mental strength was being quickly consumed. As he took out Bahrain's delicious cake and ate it, Lu Yan slashed at the undead knights in front of him with the black bone scythe. The surrounding undead knights kept attacking, wanting to break free from the restraints of the surrounding undead. However, it was useless. They were still affected by the undead and were killed by Lu Yan and the undead. Yang Murong and the others, who had just returned, were directly stunned when they saw this scene. Damn! I thought that Lu Yan might not be able to last after we left. I didn't expect this guy to be so powerful. That's right. The entire situation has been stabilized. Nothing happened because of our departure. That guy is constantly killing undead knights. Chapter 86 Undead Swordsman Appears 2. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 86 Undead Swordsman Appears 
2. Translator. Atlas Studios Editor. Atlas Studios, if he's given time, he'll probably be able to kill all the surrounding undead knights, right? This guy is too terrifying. His combat strength is simply comparable to an entire army. Yan Murong's members looked at Lu Yan's battle scene in front of them and spoke in shock. Yan Murong stared fixedly at Lu Yan, his eyes also revealing surprise. Previously, he was mainly fighting the undead knights and did not observe Lu Yan's battle. Now that he saw that the other party was actually cooperating with the undead to kill the undead knights, he was directly stunned. This guy was not a necromancer. Which necromancer would rush forward with a scythe to slash? Wait, scythe. Yang Murong's eyes suddenly constricted. He had read a forbidden book about the undead in the past and remembered that it had mentioned it. The undead creatures using the black scythe were the undead monarch and the death god. This guy probably had a hidden profession. Damn it, instead of cozying up to such a big shot here, he actually only wanted to escape. Yang Murong's expression was uncertain. After a few shifts in his gaze, he took a deep breath and headed towards Lu Yen. After rushing over with his team members, Yang Murong directly used his full strength to help Zhao Yuheng and the others block the surrounding undead knights. Seeing this, Li Feng Yen snorted lightly and said with a disdainful expression, You're back again. You probably encountered some danger and can't get out. You're really shameless. Yang Murong did not pay attention to Li Funyan's words. Even if he did, he probably would not take it seriously. As he blocked the surrounding undead knights, Yang Murong shouted at Lu Yen, Lu Yen, we went to investigate the surroundings just now and discovered that there are no other undead knights around. After saying that they had escaped to investigate the surroundings, Yang Murong's face did not turn red at all. He was indeed extremely shameless. This was also why Yang Murong was so smart. He had already thrown away his face the third time he entered the wilderness. Regardless of whether there were still undead knights around, he still had to say this. Lu Yen ignored Yang Murong when he heard this. Now, the main danger was the surrounding undead knights. As for Yang Murong, even if he wanted to settle the score with the other party, now was not the time. Lu Yen was now increasingly certain that the level 30 undead knights that appeared around him should be related to the pool of blood just now. Therefore, Lu Yen was not sure if there would be any other dangers. At this moment, he was not in the mood to argue with Yang Murong. It was already not bad for Yang Murong to help stop some undead knights. At this moment, Yang Murong discovered that there were many more undead around. Bai Miao and the others could already resist the surrounding undead knights on their own. Without any hesitation, Yang Murong directly rushed towards Lu Yen with his teammates. Lu Yen, we're here to help you. We can't let you take on so many undead knights alone. Yang Murong directly brought his team members to Lu Yan's surroundings and began to attack the surrounding undead knights with all his strength. Perhaps to show their determination to help, Yang Murong and the team members used all their strength to help Lu Yan share some of the pressure. Lu Yan's figure appeared behind an undead knight. Taking advantage of the fact that it was fighting the undead beside it, the black bone scythe in his hand directly slashed at its neck, instantly killing this undead knight. Under Lu Yan's ferocious attack, the surrounding undead knights were quickly killed. The deaths of the undead knights brought Lu Yan a lot of level. Up power. With so many undead knights around, it was probably impossible to destroy them without 40 to 50 professionals. However, in front of Lu Yan, these undead knights were quickly killed. After using the undead twin skill and coupled with the fact that Yang Murong's team had returned, the speed at which Lu Yan killed the spirit knights clearly increased a lot. Half an hour later, all the surrounding undead knights were killed. Lu Yan also advanced from level 18 to level 19. Without hesitation, Lu Yan directly added four free attribute points to his intelligence to quickly replenish his mental strength. Now that Lu Yan's intelligence had already reached 158, it was already extremely high when compared to someone of the same level. 
However, summoning so many skeleton elites and the undead twin duplication still consumed a lot of mental strength. We're done killing. We succeeded. Bai Miao watched as Lu Yan returned with the undead and killed the surrounding undead knights one by one. She heaved a sigh of relief and directly collapsed to the ground. Using the secret technique twice in a short period of time had already squeezed out every bit of strength in her body and even caused damage to her body. After returning, she had to receive treatment and rest well to recover. Zhao Yuheng hurriedly supported by Miao and looked at Lu Yan in front of her, her eyes also revealing a trace of surprise. He really did it. He killed so many undead knights around him. This junior Lu Yan's combat strength was even more terrifying than she imagined. Li Feng Yan and the others also heaved a sigh of relief and sat down to rest. Although it was only to stop the undead knights, they were still forced to fight with all their strength. Moreover, even after using all of their strength, the entire process was still dangerous. Without the help of Lu Yan's undead, it was simply impossible for them to stop a level 30 undead knight. The more this was the case, the more Li Feng Yan and the others could realize how powerful Lu Yan was. Fortunately, such a big shot had appeared this time. Otherwise, they would definitely be wiped out here. I've advanced to level 19. Looks like the surrounding undead knights gave me a lot of level dot up power. Lu Yan raised his eyebrows. He had spent nearly a month to advance from level 15 to level 18, but he had increased by one level after killing about 300 undead knights. Although it was only level, if he wanted to increase it from 18 to 19, he would probably need to kill 600 to 700 ordinary demon beasts of the same level. However, when he thought about it, it was normal. Lu Yan had also killed monsters above his level. Unfortunately, there was a limit to the level dot up power obtained for every level. Otherwise, Lu Yan would probably have increased by more than one level. Lu Yan, you're really too awesome. Can you leave your contact information? Let's be friends in the future. Li Feng Yan looked at Lu Yan and smiled. Lu Yan looked at him indifferently. The crisis has not been resolved yet. It's better to be careful first. The smile on Li Fengyan's face instantly froze. The crisis had not been resolved. Could there be other dangers around? Lu Yan's words instantly made Li Fengyan's hair stand on end. He hurriedly began to recover, in case he encountered any danger later. Dot Lu Yan checked by Miao's situation and then frowned. You can't continue fighting. Rest well and don't force yourself. Actually, even if Bai Miao had let go of a few undead knights just now, it would not have been a big deal. However, she insisted on using a secret technique to block it. Lu Yan's gaze then landed on Yang Murong. Seeing Lu Yan look at him, Yang Murong revealed an awkward expression. Lu Yan, we, Lu Yan directly interrupted him and stretched out his hand. You should have something to recover your mental strength, right? Give me some, the more the better. The isolation barrier was still there and there was still a hidden danger. Therefore, Lu Yan needed to quickly replenish his mental strength. He had not spent much stamina in the battle just now. However, it was important for him to replenish his mental strength. Yang Murong was stunned for a moment. Then, without hesitation, he directly took out a glass bottle and handed it to Lu Yan. This is a mental strength recovery liquid that can quickly recover lost mental strength. In order to make Lu Yan forget the past, Yang Murong could be said to be willing to do anything. Lu Yan did not stand on ceremony and directly opened it to drink. After entering his stomach, Lu Yan felt his mental strength recovering quickly. The effect of this recovery liquid was still quite good. At this moment, the entire ground suddenly trembled. A dense black fog directly rushed into the sky not far behind and instantly covered the area behind. Then, about 80 undead knights appeared from the black fog. The person in the lead was not an undead knight. He had a large sword on his back and was wearing armor. His face was covered by a dense black fog. It was an undead swordsman. 
Chapter 87 You seem to be very energetic. 1. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 87 You seem to be very energetic. 1. Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios looking at the large number of undead knights in front of them and the undead swordsman carrying a large sword, everyone's heart sank. Dot if Lu Yen was right, there would be other dangers. Damn. What's going on? There are actually more undead knights. There aren't as many this time. They should be able to deal with them, right? Yeah right. The undead knights in front are all level 30 elites. As for the guy with the big sword, the detector can't determine the other party's information. The surrounding people discussed animatedly. A member of the Yang Murong team holding a detection device at the side said with a pale face. What? The detector can't detect it. Doesn't that mean that the other party's level is too high? Is that guy with the big sword so powerful? Damn, what's going on? Why are there endless undead appearing? Moreover, we're inexplicably trapped here. Boss Lu Yen, can you deal with this situation? Everyone's gazes landed on Lu Yen. Now, they could only rely on Lu Yen in front of them. Lu Yen looked at the undead swordsman with a large sword on his back in front of him and frowned. Lu Yen sensed a dense undead aura from this guy. This guy's level should not be low. At the very least, he should be at the commander level. Lu Yen was really not confident in dealing with such an undead swordsman. The undead swordsman in front looked at Lu Yen and the others and said angrily, Damn humans, you actually dared to kill so many great undead knights. This is simply unforgivable. I will skin you and offer your flesh and blood to the great Lord Moraton. Although they could not see the appearance of this undead swordsman clearly, everyone could still sense the anger of this undead swordsman. However, when this undead swordsman's gaze landed on Lu Yen, his angry voice stopped. His expression instantly became vigilant. The big sword on his back instantly appeared in his hand, as if he was prepared to fight. The aura of a monarch. No, if it was a monarch, I would no longer have the strength to resist. Damn human, how dare you taint the power of the monarch. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. The undead swordsman in front looked at Lu Yen and kept muttering. His expression gradually turned from fear to anger. However, one could still see that his palm was trembling slightly. Clearly, the fear was still there. Lu Yen looked at the other party and knew that it was because of his talent skill, undead intimidation. For ordinary undead, undead intimidation only had an effect, reducing the other party's attack and defense by half. Moreover, such high-level undead would still feel fear after their attack and defense were halved. However, the undead swordsman in front of him was clearly very smart. He knew that Lu Yen had yet to grow up, so he tried to suppress the fear in his heart. The undead power on this undead swordsman instantly erupted, enveloping his entire body and weakening the fear Lu Yen made him feel. Such dense undead power. This undead swordsman is so powerful. This is at least a commander level undead swordsman, right? Moreover, it's probably at least level 30. How are we supposed to fight this? Commander level. With the other party's undead aura, it's probably more than just a commander. Just this aura has completely suppressed us. How are we supposed to fight? Li Feng Yan and the others looked at the undead swordsman who was emitting the undead power with fear. With such a dense undead aura, the undead swordsman in front of him might be a demon beast that had surpassed the commander level. It was over. It was all over now. No matter how powerful Lu Yen was, there was nothing he could do when facing a demon beast that surpassed the commander level, right? Lu Yen was indeed helpless against demon beasts that surpassed the commander level, but he still had the ability to fight undead that surpassed the commander level. Looking at the undead swordsman in front of him, Lu Yen knew that he had to use his full strength. Looking at it, Lu Yen still had 98 skill points that he had not used. 
these were all accumulated by Lu Yen through the daily missions for nearly a month. He did not use them directly because he wanted to save them for unexpected situations. Now was the time to use these skill points. After pondering for a moment, Lu Yen added all his skill points to the three skills according to the current situation. Undead Netherworld Armor, Netherworld Soul Scythe, Monarch Blessing. These three skills were directly related to Lu Yan's combat strength. Facing the guy in front of him, the effects of the other skills were not as effective. After spending it on the skills, he only had two skill points left. These three skills were also constantly being upgraded. Undead Netherworld Armor, Level 8 Summon the undead power to form a netherworld armor around you that can resist any damage. Current resistance value. 240, duration. 30 minutes. Cooldown time. 3 hours. After the undead netherworld armor was upgraded to level 8, the resistance value had increased to 240. The duration increased a lot, and the cooldown time decreased by an hour. This was an epic level skill after all. The effect might not be too obvious in the early stages, but as the skill level increased, the effect would become stronger. When it was max level, the defense of the undead netherworld armor would definitely reach a state that made the enemy despair. Chapter 88 You seem to be very energetic. 2. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 88 you seem to be very energetic. 2. Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios Next was the Netherworld Soul Scythe, which had also been increased to level 8 by Lu Yen. Netherworld Soul Scythe, Grade Exclusive Skill, Level 8. Gather the Undead Power and Summon the Scythe from the Netherworld. Attack increased by 70%, Intelligence increased by 50%. Duration. 20 minutes. Cooldown time. 3 hours. Note. The Netherworld Soul Scythe can deal damage to the soul. When used to attack, it can cause 50% soul damage. Note. The Netherworld Soul Scythe can condense into a physical body after being upgraded to level 10. It can be transformed into an exclusive weapon and is not limited by the duration and cooldown time. Note. Consuming a soul crystal can double the effect of the netherworld soul scythe, but the duration will be reduced by a minute. The enhancement attack of the netherworld soul scythe had reached 70%. Moreover, his intelligence would be increased by 50%, allowing Lu Yan's attack to instantly multiply. Moreover, Lu Yen had already condensed a lot of soul crystals during this period of time that could directly double the effect of the Netherworld Soul Scythe. Because there were not many skill points left, the Monarch Blessing could only increase to level 6. Monarch Blessing, Grandmaster, Level 6, Effect Use the Undead Power to Bless Yourself. Increase Intelligence by 40%, Agility by 35%, and Physique by 40%, Upgrade can increase the effect. Cooldown time is 25 minutes. The enhancement effect of the Monarch Blessing was greatly enhanced. Lu Yen calculated that after using his newly dot upgraded Monarch Blessing, his combat strength would increase by a shocking amount as long as he used it with the Undead Netherworld Armor and the Netherworld Soul Scythe. Even when facing the Undead Swordsman in front of him, he was still able to fight. After stretching his muscles, Lu Yen prepared to face the enemy. Seeing this, Zhao Yuheng stopped Lu Yen and said, Lu Yen, the aura of the undead swordsman in front is too dense. It's not something you can deal with. We'll stall him. Quickly escape. Among everyone present, your potential is the greatest. You can't die here. Hearing Zhao Yuheng's words, other than by Miao, the expressions of the surrounding people changed. The expressions of Li Feng Yen and the others changed a few times. Then, Li Feng Yen looked at Lu Yen and smiled. She's right. Boss Lu Yen, you should escape. If not for Boss Lu Yen, we would have long died under the undead knights. Let us help you by some time this time. 
the expressions of Yang Murong and the others darkened. Clearly, they did not want to use their lives to exchange for Lu Yan's escape. Lu Yan smiled at Zhao Yuheng and then said, Senior sister, don't worry. Although the aura of the guy in front of me is powerful, it's not impossible for me to resist. As he spoke, Lu Yan directly walked out. Monarch blessing. A light instantly appeared on Lu Yan's body. His intelligence, agility, and physique instantly increased a lot. At the same time, the undead power condensed on Lu Yan's body, gradually forming a pitch dot black armor that instantly enveloped Lu Yan's body. A sharp aura quickly condensed on the black bone scythe in his hand and directly covered the black bone scythe, forming a sharp pitch dot black scythe shell. Sensing the change in Lu Yan's aura, everyone around was stunned. Li Fengyan's throat moved as he said with a stunned expression, this. Boss Lu Yan was still hiding his strength previously. Now, he's finally revealing his true combat strength. A female team member beside Li Feng Yan had stars in her eyes. Such a powerful aura. His aura seems to be even more powerful than that undead swordsman. Boss Lu Yan is so handsome. Zhao Yuheng was stunned for a moment before revealing a happy expression. Junior Lu Yan can actually erupt with such a dense aura. Looks like there's still a chance. Yang Murong was also stunned. Then, he said in disbelief, this guy was actually using his strongest combat strength just now. Isn't this too abnormal? Could he be a third dot profession dot change big shot? The undead swordsman in front of him sensed the soaring aura on Lu Yan's body and his body suddenly froze. Its palm, which had just stabilized, trembled again. Such a dense undead aura. How did this guy do it? No, he definitely could not let this human who had tainted his monarch's reputation survive. The undead swordsman roared and raised the large sword in his hand. The surrounding undead knights instantly rushed towards Lu Yan in front of them. This undead swordsman suddenly stomped on the ground and suddenly rushed towards Lu Yan in front of him. Humph, Lu Yan snorted and directly summoned the skeleton elite army and the undead knights he had recruited previously. Undead Rage The cooldown of the undead rage had already passed and he could use it again. A large number of undead directly rushed towards the undead knights in front of them and instantly engaged in a chaotic battle. Lu Yan directly welcomed the undead swordsman in front of him. The undead swordsman also did not expect Lu Yan to be able to summon so many undead. However, his gaze then landed firmly on Lu Yan. Die. The undead swordsman raised the large sword in his hand. Thick undead power condensed on the large sword, forming a vortex. He suddenly slashed at Lu Yan. A black storm instantly danced from the large sword in the undead swordsman's hand and swept towards Lu Yan. Lu Yan did not dodge this black storm. The resistance of the level 8 undead netherworld armor had already reached 240. Lu Yan did not believe that the undead swordsman in front of him could unleash an attack that exceeded this value. As expected, after entering the black storm, Lu Yan remained motionless, as if he was not affected at all. The undead swordsman looked at Lu Yan, who had walked out of the black storm safely, and his expression was shocked. This. This is impossible. How can it not cause any damage? The undead swordsman could not accept this outcome. He raised the large sword in his hand and rushed towards Lu Yen again. Lu Yen suddenly stepped forward and instantly slashed out with the black bone scythe wrapped in his hand, directly landing on the large sword raised by the undead swordsman. Bang! With a muffled sound, the undead swordsman in front of him suddenly trembled and took two steps back. Damn it! Damn it! This is impossible. The undead swordsman looked at Lu Yan, who was motionless, and directly went crazy. A dense black fog spread out from the undead swordsman's body and instantly enveloped his body. Lu Yan raised his eyebrows. Trying to strengthen your skills. Then let's see how powerful you are now. 
Lu Yan raised the black bone scythe wrapped in his hand again and directly slashed at the undead swordsman in front of him. The undead swordsman's long sword was wrapped in black fog as he directly slashed upward, blocking the black bone scythe in Lu Yan's hand. At the same time, this undead swordsman suddenly waved the large sword in his hand and directly pushed aside the black bone scythe. Then, this undead swordsman turned around and suddenly stabbed Lu Yan from behind. Lu Yan raised the scythe hilt of the black bone scythe to block the tip of the large sword in the undead swordsman's hand, but a huge force directly made Lu Yan take a few steps back. The undead swordsman's body instantly disappeared from his spot and appeared behind Lu Yan in a black fog. The large sword in his hand suddenly slashed towards Lu Yan's neck. Lu Yan raised the black bone scythe in his hand and blocked this attack. His body took a few steps back again. The undead swordsman's attacks were incomparably frequent. He directly pounced forward and attacked Lu Yan again, not giving Lu Yan a chance to breathe. You seem to be very energetic. Lu Yan snorted and directly used a soul crystal. A pitch dot black light instantly bloomed from the netherworld soul scythe covering the black bone scythe in his hand and instantly enveloped the entire netherworld soul scythe. Lu Yan raised his hand to block the undead swordsman's attack. Then, under the undead swordsman's unbelievable gaze, he slashed his scythe at the other party. Chapter 89 New Achievement Mission, Reward Undead Calamity, 1, You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 89 New Achievement Mission, Reward Undead Calamity, 1, Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios The Undead Swordsman did not expect the strength of the human in front of him to increase again. Not only did he easily block its attack, but he also instantly counterattacked. The large sword in his hand was somewhat cumbersome and was already too late to defend. A large amount of black fog seeped out from the Undead Swordsman's chest and directly enveloped his body. The pitch dot black scythe in Lu Yan's hand directly spread out the black fog on the undead swordsman's chest before landing on the other party. With a muffled sound, the undead swordsman's body directly flew out and landed heavily on the ground. A wound instantly appeared on the undead swordsman's chest. Although no blood surged out, a large amount of undead power seeped out, instantly weakening the aura of this undead swordsman. No. This is impossible. How can I be defeated by this human? This is impossible. Impossible. The undead swordsman seemed to be unable to accept this fact. He looked at Lu Yan in front of him with fear in his eyes. After being defeated, the fear it had been suppressing in its heart instantly erupted, and it was much stronger. After taking a deep look at Lu Yan, this undead swordsman did not hesitate and directly turned around to run behind him. He wanted to gather the undead knights and lead them to charge together. This guy was definitely unable to withstand the charge of a large number of undead knights. However, when this undead swordsman turned around and ran not far, he saw an unbelievable scene. The undead knights in front of him had already been surrounded by a large number of undead. Not to mention gathering them, some of them had even been killed by those undead. These were his elite subordinates. How could they be killed by these low-level skeleton undead? Then, this undead swordsman saw the undead knights that had been transformed into Lu Yan's undead. His subordinates had become the other party's knights. Before this undead swordsman could figure out what was going on, Lu Yan's voice sounded behind him. Where do you think you're going? Lu Yan used the monarch netherworld escape to appear behind this undead swordsman and directly slashed the black bone scythe in his hand at him. The black bone scythe wrapped in the netherworld soul scythe directly landed on the undead swordsman's back and instantly slashed it open. A large amount of undead power spread out, making the undead swordsman instantly scream. An undead swordsman did not feel any pain, but Lu Yan's netherworld soul scythe could cause damage to the soul, instantly making this undead swordsman want to die. Black fog spread out from the undead swordsman's body and instantly disappeared. The black fog appeared again and directly arrived a hundred meters ahead. 
The undead swordsman's figure appeared from within and quickly headed forward. It fled in the direction of the pool of blood from before. Before it could escape far, a pitch dot black scythe directly appeared and instantly slashed the other party's neck. The undead swordsman's eyes instantly widened. He turned around and looked at Lu Yen before falling to the ground with an unwilling expression. In front of the monarch netherworld escape, it was impossible for this undead swordsman to escape. Damn. He killed him. Boss Lu Yen killed that undead swordsman. How long has it been? It hasn't even been five minutes, right? But Boss Lu Yen has already killed that undead swordsman with a dense undead aura. I originally thought that Boss Lu Yen would have a very simple fighting style. I didn't expect him to directly destroy everything. He's really awesome. Li Feng Yen and the others watched as Lu Yen killed the undead swordsman in a few moves, their eyes filled with admiration. Lu Yen looked at the corpse of the undead swordsman in front of him and heaved a sigh of relief. Although it seemed simple for him to kill this undead swordsman, in reality. Actually, it was indeed very simple. After all, he had increased the undead netherworld armor and the netherworld soul scythe to the eighth level. The increase in his combat strength was not small. Coupled with the talent skill, undead intimidation, it was still very easy for him to kill this undead swordsman. Under Lu Yan's gaze, the body of the dead undead swordsman in front of him slowly trembled. Then, he directly stood up and arrived beside Lu Yan respectfully. Looking at the undead swordsman who had already transformed into his undead, Lu Yan's eyes flowed with disappointment. Although this undead swordsman had become his undead, the other party's intelligence was already gone. Lu Yen originally planned to ask this undead swordsman something. Lu Yen looked. At this moment, he was already very close to the pool of blood and could clearly see the location of the blood. At this moment, the pool of blood seemed to have already dried up, but it still emitted a faint blood dot red light, making one feel afraid. Lu Yen did not go near the blood water. Instead, he directly headed towards the surrounding undead knights. After killing these undead knights, Lu Yen prepared to break out. Although his current strength was very powerful, it did not last long. It was impossible for him to stay here and wait for the unknown danger. With his current strength, he should be able to break through the isolation barrier in front of him. While Lu Yen was killing the undead swordsman, in a hidden cave in the Yin Wind Mountain stream, the black dot robed Moraton was focused on carrying out the undead sacrifice. Dot dot. Chapter 90 New Achievement Mission Reward Undead Calamity 2 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio Chapter 90 New Achievement Mission Reward Undead Calamity 2 Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios beside his feet, the corpses of humans and demon beasts had already turned into bones that scattered on the ground. The power in these corpses was sacrificed to the huge hexagram formation. Damn Black Flood Dragon, you didn't give me enough blood essence. Because of you, I have to capture humans and demon beasts to make up the numbers. Now, I'm still a little short. Just as Moraton was cursing, his body suddenly trembled. He's dead. Damn it. You're not letting me have my way, are you? He died at such a critical moment. Moraton held the white bone staff and paced back and forth in the cave. Now, in order to preside over this formation, my level has been suppressed to level 30. If I rashly go out, I'm afraid it will be somewhat dangerous. The entire formation is only short of the last sacrifice. It's impossible for me to wait any longer. It's impossible for there to be an existence above level 30 in the surroundings. Looks like someone temporarily obtained a powerful strength and killed my undead swordsman. However, if we go out, the aura here will spread. The isolation formation can't be hidden either. We will be discovered by human experts. Forget it, I'll directly capture him and summon Lord Netherworld. At that time, with Lord Netherworld around, even if human experts come, 
they will still have to retreat calmly. After thinking briefly, Moritan made up his mind and directly arrived at a small blood dot red array formation in the corner. Black fog spread and directly enveloped Moritan's body, making him instantly disappear from his spot. At the supply station outside the Black Fog Forest, Wang Yi was checking documents in the office when an urgent alarm suddenly sounded. Warning! Warning! Thick undead power sensed from the Black Fog Forest's Yin Wind Mountain Stream. It is likely the appearance of a high level undead creature. Warning! Warning! Thick undead power sensed from the Black Fog Forest's Yin Wind Mountain Stream. It is likely the appearance of a high-level undead creature. The Yin Wind Mountain Stream in the Black Fog Forest. A high-level undead creature had appeared. Wang Yi's body suddenly froze as he directly picked up the microphone beside him. Inform the rescue team to gather urgently and follow me to the Black Fog Forest's Yin Wind Mountain Stream to investigate. The Yin Wind Mountain Stream in the Black Fog Forest was located near the outer area of the wilderness of their supply station. There were many low-level professionals and students hunting there. When high-level undead creatures appeared, they had to quickly investigate the situation. Otherwise, it might cause huge losses to the surrounding hunters. Moreover, when he heard about the dense undead power, Wang Yi's heart tightened. He had just checked the recent hunter deaths in the Black Fog Forest and discovered that recently, the number of hunters missing in the periphery of the Black Fog Forest was very high. Moreover, there was a faint undead power left behind where every hunter disappeared. Therefore, when he heard about the undead power and the likely appearance of a high-level undead creature, Wang Yi instantly thought of them. He had to personally lead a team to check. Soon, the supply station's rescue team gathered. The first rescue team was the most elite rescue team in the entire supply station. There were 30 people, and every one of them was a third dot promotion professional. Their professions were evenly distributed and their equipment was all top dot notch. Wang Yi did not waste his breath and directly rushed towards the Black Fog Forest with the entire rescue team. With Lu Yan's current combat strength, dealing with these undead knights was simply like cutting vegetables. In less than two minutes, he killed all the undead knights. Hurry up and leave. Let's leave this place first. After all the undead knights transformed into Lu Yan's undead servants, Lu Yan arrived beside Zhao Yuheng and the others. He placed by Miao on an undead silver moon wolf and prepared to leave first. However, before Lu Yan and the others could do anything, a dense undead power spread out. Lu Yan's body froze. He turned around and saw a figure appear in the distant pool of blood. The black dot robed Moritan. The moment Moritan appeared, his gaze landed on Lu Yan. From Lu Yan, Moritan could sense an extremely dense undead power. Unlike the fear of the undead swordsman just now, although Moritan could also sense the pressure coming from Lu Yan and even knew that his attack and defense would be much lower when facing this guy, a smile appeared on his face. That's right, a smile appeared on a skeleton's face, making Moritan look somewhat comical. Ha ha ha. This is too awesome. With such dense undead power, not only can Lord Netherworld come over after sacrificing you, but he can also directly appear in his complete state without experiencing a strength suppression period. TSK TSK TSK, why didn't you appear sooner, the smile on Moritan's face became even more abnormal. He looked at Lu Yen, the two balls of netherworld flames in his eyes flickering, revealing endless greed. Zhao Yuheng and the others were stunned. They looked at Moritan's figure and were somewhat numb. Another one. Another one. Moreover, what's with this guy's aura? It's just that his aura makes me feel somewhat suffocated. This guy is definitely stronger than that undead swordsman just now. Moreover, he's much stronger. Damn it. Is there an end to this? Boss Lu Yen, can we deal with this? If it's Boss Lu Yen, we should be able to, right? Li Feng Yen and the others were somewhat numb. They originally thought that they could get out and leave this damn place. 
who knew that another powerful undead creature would come. Now, they could only place their hopes on Lu Yen again, hoping that Lu Yen could create a miracle. Looking at Moritan in front of him, Lu Yan's expression became solemn. The guy in front of him was not someone the undead swordsman from before could compare to. You're the one who killed my undead swordsman. Not bad. Don't worry, I'll treat you well with the undead power later. Moritan looked at Lu Yen in front of him and said with the netherworld fire flickering in his eyes. Lu Yen did not hesitate and directly rushed towards Moritan with the black bone scythe in his hand. The effects of the monarch blessing, the undead netherworld armor, and the netherworld soul scythe had not disappeared. The effect of the soul crystal was also present. At this moment, Lu Yen was at his strongest state and could not waste time. As his body rushed out, Lu Yen also instructed the surrounding undead army to rush towards Moritan. Moritan looked at Lu Yen who was rushing towards him with disdain. Humph. Your use of the undead power is not bad. It's not bad to be able to build such an undead army, but you want to fight me with this. Dream on. With a cold snort, the white bone staff in Moritan's hand was instantly filled with black fog. It instantly expanded and directly enveloped Lu Yan's undead army in front of him. Crack. Crack. The sound of bones rubbing sounded. Then, the black fog dissipated, and a large number of undead directly shattered into bones that scattered on the ground. Lu Yan's heart sank when he saw this, and he got the remaining undead to stop charging. Facing this guy, numbers were useless. With the black bone scythe wrapped in the netherworld soul scythe in hand, Lu Yen directly arrived beside Moritan and raised the black bone scythe in his hand. The black bone scythe directly landed on Moritan. However, a pitch dot black bone shield directly appeared on Moritan's body and blocked this attack. Then, a bone spike shot out from the white bone staff in Moritan's hand towards Lu Yen. Lu Yen waved the black bone scythe to block the bone spikes, but the moment the bone spikes gathered, they directly exploded. The huge force instantly made Lu Yen take two steps back. This guy was very skilled in using skills and had very powerful combat strength. Fortunately, he was not invincible. Lu Yen looked at Moritan in front of him and was thinking when a voice suddenly appeared in his mind. Ding! detected that the host is fighting a lord.level necromancer. Activated achievement mission to kill someone of a higher level. Achievement mission. Kill the lord.level necromancer in front of you. Reward. 1.time skill, undead calamity, 1000 achievement points.